Up until now, the sounds I've taught have actually been really simple. This is because normally they're really just words which have just been changed slightly to make them sound more percussive. For example, boom, poof, poof. Now you do need to keep this in mind for the duration of this tutorial, because I'm going to be teaching you your first inward sound. This is by far the hardest I've taught so far, and this is because you're needing to learn a new technique, and that's how to make sound whilst breathing inwards. Now the sound I'm going to be teaching you is the inward K. Now you might have noticed yourself running out of breath, especially while practicing some of the beats that I've been recommending. But that's perfectly normal. It happens. You don't have superhuman lungs. So what most beatboxers do is they use inward sounds so they can beatbox whilst taking a breath at the same time. This means you're able to take a breath without interrupting the flow of your routines. And the inward K is by far the most common and most popular of the inward sounds. If you saw me teach in the rim shot, you'd see that I use the side of my mouth to do it because you get more power. Now, if you're able to do rim shot using the side of your mouth, it's actually very, very easy to do the inward snare. And this is because it's basically the same thing, same tongue positioning, just you're inhaling air instead of exhaling. So outwards, inwards. By putting your tongue against the top of your mouth and pulling your lip out sideways, using one side of your mouth, I personally use the left side, and pulling air in, that's how you get the in with K. And by inhaling, you get that nice shh sound afterwards. Now, here are some simple beats. Hope this video has taught you a new sound. Next, I'm going to be talking about breath control, so it's definitely worth checking out because it relates very closely to this tutorial. Peace.